Welcome to Norsonic. This video is a tutorial on how to do a building acoustic measurement with the sound level meter NOR145. NOR145 offers the full project management according to ISO 16283 on board, so there is no need to use an external control device on site. However, if you want you can of course also remotely control NOR145 via Wi-Fi using either a smartphone, tablet or laptop. And now to the power amplifier NOR282. It is not only battery operated, so that you are totally independent on having 230 volt available on site, but it also has both onboard Wi-Fi and onboard signal generator, which can be remotely controlled from NOR145. There is no need for carrying an extra noise generator device, an extra cable or a cable drum. Let's get started by loading the app, for example, the user setup called R-W with fixed microphone positions. Now everything is pre-selected according this user setup. In the rating menu, you can verify the selected standard, enter the receiving room volume and test specimen area. Changes in the rating menu can be made at any point in time. Via the notes button, you have various possibilities to add information to your project. You can record audio notes. You can also enter text notes. And if you use the smartphone as a control unit, you can also use the camera of the smartphone to take photos. We can now simply use function key to toggle through the type of measurement we want to make. Sending room level is shown in red, background noise level in black, reverberation time in green, and receiving room level in blue. For dual channel measurements, sending and receiving room levels would be shown within one view. Let's start doing the reverberation time measurement in the receiving room both frequency and level versus time data is shown in real time, without any latency. That is a tremendous help to see what is going on. When the measurement is ended, we get the calculated RT values in the upper part of the window and the DK curves in the lower part, for whatever frequency is selected in the upper part. You can use the TBL button to change from graphical to tabular view. After each measurement, you can decide whether to accept or discard it. And once the first measurement is accepted, you'll be asked to enter a project name, like for example, Office A to D. Now we switch to background noise and perform a short measurement. If a disturbing noise event happens during the measurement, just press pause and wait until the noise has disappeared. Once you press continue, the measurement will be continued and a back erase is applied. Now we switch to receiving room level and perform one measurement here. Let's start the measurement with the loudspeaker and amplifier now being placed in the source room. At the end of it, we now see both the receiving room level presented together with the previously measured background noise level. That gives us the possibility to immediately check the signal to noise ratio. The beauty here is, if the signal to noise ratio requirement is not met in all frequencies, we can easily adjust the amplifier volume remotely from the NOR145. There is no need to enter the room to do that. Let's now have a look at the project overview. Here we see all data acquired so far. Previously we had measured the sound insulation from the same source room into another receiving room using the same gain setting on the amplifier. Therefore, we can now just import the sending room data from the previous project. All calculations are done on the fly, which means as new data comes in, or as input values like volume, etc. are changed. In the project overview, we can select any measurement, measurement folder, or rating, and then press the view button to display it in detail. You can always go back to have a detailed look at individual measurements, also with the possibility to exclude or include from the averaging or, for example, to adjust the regression line in a reverberation time measurement. Also, the reporting can be done on the fly. In the memory menu, just select Send to NorCloud and export it to Excel or PDF. The templates are freely editable. 
the data and report is now available from anywhere in the world. No need to later transfer it from the instrument or smartphone to your PC. Via NorCloud, it can already be accessed by your colleagues in the office while you are still on site. Visit our website or contact us for more information.